Okay, rigid 18 volt lithium ion battery from a cordless drill and a bunch of other tools. This thing got water, <clears throat> got water um, ingress and the back lights, the uh, in charge indication lights stopped working completely dead and putting it on the charger was a solid red defective signal from the charging unit would not give a charge to this um use this it's a t10 torx bit and it's also security uh let's see you see the hole in the center there and then this well the screws look like this <laughs> sorry about that the screws look like that they've got a pin in this in the middle so you need this this particular tool is stamped VT10, maybe you can see CR for the type of material it is, and then VT10. So it's a so it's a T10. All right, eight of those come out. Four on this side. Four on this side. The top comes off. Okay. This is an 18 volt system, so I'm not not terribly worried about getting hurt by it. On this board, there is one chip here of interest. Now, this chip, on the top of this chip, I had a lot of corrosion uh, from water. And so what I had to do is just clean that off really nice, gently. There's a conformal coating on top. I definitely removed that by not being gentle enough. And then I had to use a very fine pick to make sure that all my legs were clean between them because that those uh you know how it is with auto when you get that green crusty stuff um, between pins and these pins are very close together so cleaned it up really good um <clears throat> and i had to work it over multiple times you guys the first time i did this and i put slam this back on the charger i got um I got defective, even though after the first cleaning, and, and one of the things that kind of stinks about this is if you're having to clean these pins off, you're doing it live. Um, at least, I'm not an electronics genius. Maybe there's a way to remove a, a component on here to, um, to get rid of that, but between here and here is where the voltage in the battery cell is. These two large solder lugs, okay? They're kind of the, the front and the back of the system. There was 13.5 volts between these two points. And so unfortunately I had to, or felt I had to uh, um, clean this kind of hot. There are six, six Phillips screws on this board. There's four black ones and there's two silver ones. If you take them off, you still run into a big problem where all these, um, there's all these lugs here that are soldered in. There's six of them. They're all soldered into the battery pack, so you're still kind of, still kind of sunk. I think these screws go in, and then later, um, they probably wave this board, and then they put the screws in to hold the board down. Then they put these six final points in there. Regardless, I could not pry the board up <clears throat> with uh, with all these screws out. Okay. So you can try it. Maybe you'll get more successful than me, but it looked to me like they were part of the battery pack. Let me pop off this side. The sides literally just pop right off, and then you see five batteries inside. All right, but those braces there are soldered. See that solder point there? And then the braces are, like, soldered to it. So, And remember, you're only dealing with 18 tops volts, so it's not, you know... This is not a suggestion, it's, a, it's how I did my own thing. But uh, don't be silly, but anyway. So, um, the first time I cleaned this up, I started seeing the light, the light flash. Like I was shorting pins on here. Well then, I was able to uh, be able to hit the button and I'd get my single light, because I only had the one light worth of charge. I put it on the charger, defective. I brought it back. I kept cleaning on the pins. I kept finding pins that were shorted together with corrosion. Kept cleaning them probably five times or so with very small tools. You gotta be super careful because you can snap these pins really easy, guys. 
over and over and over. Eventually, I got, and, and there's no indicator here that says, hey, you finally cleaned it all the way. Because this, whatever circuit runs this was working. It just kept showing me the one light, like, hey, charge me. Five times or so, going over these pins, using my fingernails, whatever, blowing on it, picking at it with the pick. Obviously, I got the uh, charger to buy it. And off we go. So this is all um, charged up and ready to go. So these are these batteries are kind of expensive. And I thought, man, if mine's really dead, that stinks. But also, I thought there really can't be that much to them. There's more to them than I kind of expected. But um, this is all conformally coated. So when you go in there and try to start cleaning on stuff, you're going to start removing that conformal coat. So maybe when you're all done, if you've removed some of it, maybe put some like lacquer or something, some nail polish varnish or something like that to recover it up. If you want to, it's copper. It's not like it's going to rust. But uh, that's what I did to resurrect this battery. And it, it took a full charge and is ready to rock.